What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, bought myself another one of these Cola Can RC cars. I thought the other one was really cool. So, you know, what's good is one when you can have two to race against? <sighs> Bud Light. Um, really does look like and is the size of a can as far as I can tell. This one is obviously different than that. Uh, the one I showed you in the color scheme choice, but it is also an Aston Martin. And I think we just uh, kind of pull out the parts here and I kind of will give you a quick preview because the other one was a little more in depth, but I did some things wrong. So first of all, there's the antenna here for the remote. It extends, a little screw in base so you can screw it into the remote and you can kind of pull the uh, car out here and the remote and the car comes out, they're attached here. You can bring out these little cones for your obstacle courses. You get four cones, so that's pretty cool. Instructions here, which I should have read. And then you have the remote itself. Now this thing just pulls off the remote. Now it doesn't charge here on the remote. Well, the way it charges is you open up the side here and pull out this little cable. You only have about an inch of extension. But then that plugs right in there. Boom. And then that is what charges up the car. So that's pretty cool. You can align the wheels here or fix the alignment if you need to by moving this little um, little knob back and forth to kind of fix the alignment or dial in the wheels, your toe. You have power switch right here, on, off. And this one runs at 49 megahertz. Now that's kind of important because if you have a several of these, you just want to make sure that they're not, I think, on the same channel. A little, uh, flexible antenna there. Now it's not charging the car right now. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because there's no batteries in the thing. It doesn't come with any batteries. I actually need to put in two double A's. Let's do that. All right. So now I have those in. You can screw in your antenna here. You have to unscrew it when you pack everything back into the uh, little plastic soda can though. And then what you have is I think I have the car off. I don't want it to run away right now. You have front, forward, and reverse buttons, and then left and right. And that's pretty much all. Not a lot of fine control. Now, if I turn this back on and I hit the forward button, you can see here. I can do it this way for you. See those rear wheels spinning? Reversing. And if I reverse, I get that little. Uh, tail light coming on too. Now I noticed this on both of them that only the passenger side tail light lights up in reverse so I guess that's by design. But then when you're running it forward, oh the headlights come on! How badass is that, right? Um, that is pretty, that is pretty freaking cool. Uh, in fact, um, it's, I don't know why, but for me, it's probably one of the most impressive things I think just to see those lights on. It's just cool. It's like one of those little details that I really love. Now, you can tell this thing isn't really running at full power, so I'm just going to plug it in here, give this car some juice. I'll turn it off here while I'm juicing her up, and then uh, we'll take it out and uh, drive it around. I will also say the other thing I've kind of noticed about these is that uh, outside, mm, the rough, you know, sidewalks and things like that are certainly fun, but I think if you were to really race these and have a kind of a good time and control for all those road imperfections uh, you would want to do it inside like on tile or hardwood or linoleum something like that a nice smooth surface would probably be best and something to give yourself a wide berth because they do move pretty quick and they are a little hard to maneuver all right actually i didn't even show you that so let me turn it back on here and just show you the if i show you how the wheels turn there you go so thing does turn all right once this thing's charged up let's go and play with it all right, so got the car on the wood here. Well, let's just see if she goes. Look at that, there she goes. And I can tell you already, she's got a little bit of an alignment issue. She's pulling left. But, certainly makes it fun. Now, where'd you go? There it is. And, there she goes, come on. Woo! These things are tons of fun, man. I can't even keep up with the thing. The steer, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with the turning radius on these little bad boys. So there it is, little soda can RC car. A lot of fun. You don't have to be a kid to enjoy them. Peter Mumpand out.